Okay, this is the uh, video for for the students or uh, certification uh, students who prepare for CCNA or some other certification related with uh, Cisco. Uh, also, this is video for who are trying some of the routing protocols in the networks. Okay, I have. On the screen, I have um, reversion two for this network. Also, this point-to-point -point links, and then EINGRP for these four routers, and then um, OSPF for uh, this point-to-point. -point, but it's in different um, area with this OSPF. Okay, this is in uh, area one. This is in area zero. Okay, now what I want to show is like these. This networks, all the networks, in different routing protocols, they they converged already. So, the, the idea behind this is you want to know how um, the routing protocols uh, so related to each other and, uh, and uh, within their different administrative distance uh, and then uh, so like what I meant is that um, rib metrics count by uh, hops okay and then um, ENGRP it's, it's it's about neighbor relationships and topology. The ENGRB is also called hybrid protocols. It's also some, um, it's behave like um, it behave like a distant routing uh, distant factor routing protocols, and also it, it's also behave like a, a link state routing protocols because ENGRB. Um, ENGRP really uh, used uh, it's really 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 used uh, bandwidth and delay as a metric too. And then OSPF, OSPF, OSPF. It really depends on topologies. It's really uh, uh, by calculating or feasible successor. Feasible successor is for backup routes. And then six six or feasible distance for um, for the rear walk links, you know. So that's a six six or so called feasible distance. So what I did for this these uh, route in between these routers, so look at uh, one route when you look at the router ones. Okay, I I have this is a configuration for router ones here. So what what you're going to see is I declared the four out and also stated out stated out for one seventy two sixteen oh one and that four out for behind these these links that four out for behind these links. So uh, I redistribute static into the ribs. I also redistribute uh, that far out to the rib and then you because I really need to link up to with uh, these networks okay and then uh, behind this steady route after after I configure the steady route I can reach up to here after I configure that far route I can reach up to here up to OSPF And like likewise, and you know, what I did in uh, router eleven is like the uh, uh, same as like router one does. So uh, I, when you look at here, I have stereo out and the four out. I redistribute stereo out here. You have to use metric and subnet types, metric types, things like that. And then because OSBF really considers in it as metric and subnets and topologies and to uh, calculate 
within this OSPF, within this OSPF. And then, and then I, decl I redistrib redistribute uh, Tafarad into the OSPF too. So because, like I said before, I, this networks really need to know about this link, these uh, network environments on the left side. So, okay, um, in OSPS, advertised network that belongs to specific interface. Okay, one, to, to be easier, you know, go show IP interface reads and find interfaces and subnets. Uh, to, to configure into the OSB routers and then after you type in the router OSBF and then, then you configure networks and so that you can you, uh, so that you can e you can easily configure for the OSB net OSBF into the OSBFs so, so use this show IP interface brief when you see the interfaces and then their addresses you you know what networks are linked up in in in, 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 in the routers you know so and stereo routes both sides for redistribution and uh, that uh, that what I said before in router one. In router seven, router seven, what I did is like in router seven, I declare um, router seven. I declare rip into the engrp because on the other side I I, I use rip here, so I, I declare rip into the engrp, and so likewise. I declare OSPF into the ENGLB either. So this is really good to know. You know, when you look at okay, for example, show IP route, you see IA I stand for OSPF Internet Route 168.210.00 just for this one. E1 172.16.1.0 E1 E1 to SPS external route. AX external route is from here. From here. Now E2 E2 OSPS external route type 2. Type 1, type 2. Okay, so when you see over here, you see only rips and steady route. So the, for the default route that I you redistribute on a router one, and up here on router four it shows uh, it shows only like a like a um, candidate default rip, but it's candidate default route. Thank you so much.